New in CAAPM10, TeamCenter helps speed and simplify the triage of application issues. In this second of three videos, we'll explore the TeamCenter highlighting and perspectives. In this example, Graham and Michael have reported problems. So we will start with the filter to narrow the map to components owned by Graham and Michael. Click Add Filter and deselect the owners you want to remove from the map. If we also look at location, we can see that all of Michael and Graham's components are in Ipswich or Bradford. Both are showing danger status, so we will leave them in the map and investigate further. Highlighting can show us all components in our filtered map that share an attribute value. We can highlight any basic or custom attribute. I want to see which of these nodes include the owner, Michael. A group is highlighted if any of the nodes in that group have the attribute we are looking for. Expand the group to see the nodes which have the attribute we are interested in. Just like filters, highlighting is cumulative, so we can add a second condition. And with that, we are now highlighting just the components owned by Michael that are part of the authentication engine application. We can quickly fit the map to the screen using these buttons. Fit all nodes into the view. Fit highlighted nodes to the view. Fit the selected group to the view. Select the highlighted nodes. And fold up all expanded groups. At any stage, you can see a summary of the map conditions here. Use the cross to switch off individual highlighting condition. And the same applies to filter conditions. You can keep the map tidy by grouping nodes that share the same value for an attribute. This is a perspective. By default, the map is grouped by type. With no group, you see every component of the environment separately. If we view the map from the perspective of owners, Team Center will create a group for each owner. All components owned by Michael are in his group. And all components owned by John are in another group. A different perspective, for example, location, might give us a better insight into where problems are coming from. Perspectives can be customized by your Team Center administrator. In large environments, it can be useful to create a multi-level perspective, combining two or more attributes. Here, we have combined owners and locations. So when we expand the group for John, we can see John's components still grouped by location. We hope you enjoyed this quick guide for APM Team Center highlighting and perspectives. Check out our other quick guides to learn more about the Team Center dashboard, map, and timeline. For more information on CAAPM, go to ca.com/apm. Slash